We're looking ahead to the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as I aim to deliver clear, fact-based updates on the upcoming hurricane season. Remember, while forecasts offer clues, they can't pinpoint exactly where storms will go. Take early predictions with caution. The most crucial factor is where storms ultimately make landfall. Current water temperatures in the Atlantic are above average. Warm waters fuel tropical storms and hurricanes. However, water temperature is just one factor. Saharan dust and atmospheric conditions also play significant roles. We're currently transitioning between La Nina and El Nino, potentially leaning towards a neutral phase. Typically, La Nina years see more tropical activity, while El Nino years see less. However, regardless of these patterns, a single storm hitting your area is far more impactful than numerous storms staying out at sea. The peak of the Atlantic hurricane season occurs in August, September, and October. However, due to warmer water temperatures, we could see activity begin earlier. The official season runs from the 1st of June to the 30th of November. Here are the names for the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. Remember, these names cycle every six years, unless a storm is so significant that its name is retired. The last time this list was used was in 2019, which you may recall included Dorian, a storm that devastated the Bahamas. Dorian was retired and replaced with Dexter. The Eastern Pacific season begins on the 15th of May and uses different names. Therefore, if you hear a name early in May, it is likely an Eastern Pacific storm, especially if that name is Alvin. As for my thoughts, I predict we will likely see 17 to 21 named systems, cited because of the aforementioned environmental conditions aligning with an above average season. With this I predict of this amount 8 to 10 will become hurricanes, and 2 to 4 become major category 3 and higher. However, it's important to remember anything could change with the forecast. Casting our memory back to last year, forecasters were predicting a record-breaking season, with 20 plus to even more than 30 storms forming in the extreme cases. We still had an above-average season, but nowhere near as active as forecasted. This is a great reminder that coastal residents should prepare and stay informed as the season progresses, as it only takes one storm to impact you for it to be a bad season. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with tropical news. Follow me on Blue Sky to be notified of any changes. Take care and see you soon.